Okay, Mrs. P.I.B. is here with me, and this I think this makes like the fourth time I've had to start this video because she's been aggravating me. What I was wanting to tell you is, uh, this is the next day from being at a gas axe chop shop with Tim Dixon and Waylon working on the 78 GMC truck, Shannon. And uh, would you stop? Anyway, uh, I just want to, I just want to tell y'all something that if you've never fooled with old cars or old trucks before, uh, <laughs> please be serious for just a minute. Uh, come on here. And <laughs> oh my. Anyway, uh, if you've never fooled with old cars and old trucks before, and you're wondering uh, why I go see tens, old cars, whatever, old trucks why they're so expensive uh, it's because of what Tim Dixon and Waylon are doing to mine most of my trucks have a lot of metal work done to them and guys I gotta tell you it's not cheap and uh, sometimes you know I know I've mentioned this a time or two before but it's worth mentioning again sometimes people say well how much do you want for for instance the 75 C10 truck Sky that trucks had a lot of metal work done to it when I throw out a price just, you know, to pretty much break even, you know, people, you know, I guess they think it's too high, but go out there and try to find somebody that, like Tim Dixon at, at Gas Axe Chop Shop, he's in 10 Mile, Tennessee, go try to find somebody to do that, all the metal work, cutting it out, buying patch panels, and sometimes, like Tim's done for me, you know, fabricating all the parts, because, they, you know, you know, oddball parts, you know, pieces of metal, like he re, he's rebuilt, he's rebuilt, you know, the whole underside of my doors and everything, I mean, just on some of my trucks over the years, and he's done, he's done a lot for me, and, uh, you know, I, I just want to, I want to give a big old shout out to Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Shop, you can find Tim on Facebook, Gas Axe Chop Shop, Axe's AXE, Gas Axe Chop Shop. He's his a phone master number. At his craft. Yes, he is a master at metal work and welding, and fabrication. And uh, my truck is in. My, all my trucks have been in good hands when I take them over there to Tim. But uh, we. This video that you're about to see is a video that was really long, and we've narrowed it down quite a bit. And uh, you wouldn't believe how much time and effort it took to get some of this stuff to work and Tim is really good at his profession so uh, I hope you will enjoy it and as you're watching as I said just kind of keep in mind how much uh, you know money and stuff is going in like for the GMC truck Shannon for example that's what they're working on now and uh, you know fixing the AC doing all the metal work you know just over and over you know just it's it it costs a lot of money and, and stuff is not cheap especially nowadays you know metal work you're talking about grinding this wire gas you know welding tips nozzles you know not counting the skill that you're paying for to get that metal work done right I mean anybody can and I've seen it I've seen gobbed up metal work before and uh, you know it's anyway just keep that in mind as you're watching the video. We shortened it quite a bit. But once again, I want to give a big old thank you to Tim Dixon and Waylon for working on Shannon for me. I knew when it went over there that it was in good hands. And all my trucks have been in good hands with him. So uh, appreciate you watching. Enjoy the video. And uh, you're watching Prime at his best. If you'd like to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. I'm on Instagram, Prime at his best. Facebook, Prime at his best. Got a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget. Y'all have a blessed day. Enjoy the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> we don't like to work the panels. So when we're welding on these cars, 
We try to skip around everywhere. Is that bad, Chad? Yeah. Yep. I learned that from bad Chad, running on tires. <laughs> bad Chad. My friend Waylon is over here grinding on this. Bottom of the front fender there. My friend Waylon. Tim's letting that cool off a little bit. Looking good, looking good. We got an issue with this panel. See it's running downhill on the car? Yeah. We're gonna have to do a little tweaking once I get it kind of halfway packed up. But I wanted to retain this stock inner structure so we have to form exactly like it was. Yes, sir. This panel won't build exactly like that, so I'm gonna have to massage the car a little bit <laughs> when we get to that point. But I'll massage the car. <laughs> <laughs> It'll look great. Oh, yeah, he does. little machine with those two three wire kind of backed up in the corner but I really like it on the central one of these rusty panels really well. That's good. Don't look up the panel on the car. Tim what's your uh your nozzle with that long panel in the yellow box stuck up in the back. 
Where's the angle grinder? What? Yeah. Ninety percent of the foes grinding gets too hot. Ain't got nothing to do with well. That's true. That's okay. It's okay. I don't want to do that. It's too bad. Yeah, but I can't with the light. Not nearly as not nearly as funny as Tim, but we're trying to re retain as much original metal as possible. Well, yeah, I appreciate too, Will. We gotta vacate the garments first. <laughs> Okay, Mr. P.I.B. said we would insert a picture of all this mess here. There was a huge, huge wasp for this behind this where Tim's welding. And that's what, it stopped up the drain hole, and that's what caused the rust here. So, he's going to insert a picture right here. Looking good, looking good. <laughs> oh yeah, I can live with this, Tim. It looked perfect before. That looks good, don't it? It ain't bad. Perfect. For a beginner. Beginner. Okay. I tucked it up a little bit. This just went down too damn far. But I got I got to reach in here and pack it for this. And that's it. I like it. Aftermarket panels. Well, you look at this, Jim. This is kind of the same. It drips down to the front. See, I'm just a little bit. Look at that, it's going. Yeah. What about that? I wish it was made up there back here, but it just did not. See, look at the size of this drain hole. Look at it. Oh, I mean, it, it, you could get a damn <laughs> Niagara Falls through that. Did you Look see at that? it right here. That's how big your drain hole is. Them waspers messed up. Can you imagine?
Yeehaw! I guess they check the door hinges. Okay, what is that? Piece of hex water tubing. Just take that piece of hex and split it. Cram it on your door strap there and make your door shut. Kiss <laughs> my grits, Flo. <laughs> perfect. Well, it ain't perfect, but it latches up good. Your door just fits like a crap because your hinges hey. wore out. It's us. Yeah, it's us. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> Better than I ever imagined. Nice, the ship stay out, Sam. Well, this is not. I don't have to push this. Yeah. All right, it's good enough for this old truck. Yeah. Well, the rockers will be next. Thank God it don't mean in or That's not the rest of the scratch house, sir. Well, we've paid for his house, so. He's got a gas tank in here. Hey, this one isn't bad. It's got a bad spot in the floor. Somebody put some old underwire in it. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, boy. <laughs> that <blows. laughs> yeah. I think that's the old tampon trick right there. <laughs> Stop up the rust. It's just that one spot. What is that? I, I don't know. I think it's old football underwear. So you can see the yeah. layer. See the last layer. layer. Uh, the rest of the side, you never see these cap connectors are good. Cap connectors. Your side has stage four melanoma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to have an I'm like one. Shoot really can see what's leaking on cable too. That's why shooting Lincoln's goes in. I don't, I, I'm not never torn in from them. I'm not sure. Is that, is that an external seal that just goes in there? Surely yeah. it's a little metal seal that drives in. You'd think. Well, half that square, that square head with it. I think there's a rubber seal that goes around. You know what's weird? It looks like this, this thing's running into the damn transmission. No, maybe not. I'm going to leave this off. It's got a few enters over there. It would have to probably move anyway. I don't know. Leave it off.